one of the movies that was supposed to be in production, kind of got delayed, wondering when it's happening, all that kind of stuff. Actually, they were on set to start shooting day one of this movie when they got shut down, when everybody shot, showed up, and that is for the upcoming Uncharted movie. Well, guess what, folks? Uncharted is now actually officially shooting. Uh, according to stories coming out and according to Tom Holland and his Instagram account, they are now up and running. They've begun production in Berlin. So I thought this was rather interesting. And by the way, he also put out a picture of himself, Tom Holland, the other day. I know it's hard to see from, from this picture. You have to go find his own post itself. Tom Holland is not only getting ripped for this, he is get, he's putting on significant body weight. He's putting on significant mass at the same time. He's looking bigger right now than he's ever looked. And why is he getting so big? Well, he puts it on his thing there. When working with Mark Wahlberg, you got to get after it because Mark Wahlberg <laughs> is a psychopath. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the videos of Mark Wahlberg and, and his workout routine and what he does and, and how he trains every day. He is an absolute psychopath. The dude goes to bed at seven so he can get up at three to work out in the morning. I mean, he's a psychopath. So I guess if you're working with him on this, Rob, what's interesting to me about this is that, and, and maybe even a little encouraging, and we've talked about this before, is the fact that in the midst of everything being shut down, the tenant being bumped twice and could very well be bumped again and all this kind of stuff and known the theaters being closed and all that kind of stuff. It's at least good to see, we've talked about Jurassic World Dominion is back up and running. Batman is, is back up and running. It's good to see that that part of the industry is able to keep moving, even if it's not here in the United States at the second, uh, at this moment. And by the way, I am still of the mindset that I was before. I think this Uncharted thing is a great idea, and I think it could end up being really, really good. Uh, I, if they can take the same mindset and approach and philosophy to it that they did with Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, another Sony property. I a lot of people were upset that they went with a younger guy. I think that was a smart move. I think it shows that they've got long-term plans for this character. Yeah. They're not just looking at Uncharted as a one and done. They want to invest heavily into this Nathan Drake character, and they have a long-term commitment to try to make this into something that lasts a long time. You get a Mark Wahlberg as a slightly younger Sully. It gives you a lot of options. I, I like what we're seeing. It could be a dumpster fire, yes, but I like what we're seeing. Rob, you see that they've started shooting this movie. Does this give you any encouragement, or what type of, type of perspective do you put this in right now? No, I, I look, I think it's great that that the industry is getting back to work. You know, As long as it means that people can get their insurance bonds, it means... That people are, 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 well, as Tom Holland put it, they're getting after it. And I like, look, I've always sort of, the Tom Holland casting in this movie has always sort of, he's so kid-like where I always saw Nathan Drake as being an Indiana Jones, an uh, analogous to Indiana Jones, like in his mid-30s. But if, if, if Tom Holland's going to bulk up, I don't mind them skewing younger hoping that they're going to make like they did with the game series multiple films. I mean, I really like Tom Holland as a performer. You can't not like his screen presence. It's going to be interesting to see how he sort of drakes it up compared to his Spider-Man. Like, is he going to have that Indiana Jones persona like some hard-bitten youngster? I don't know. But I love the game franchise. I really want to see this movie. I hope it's great. I think it probably will be. Everybody seems to talk about, they rave about the script. So I'm just hoping that we're going to get something really special out of this. Maybe it'll be the first video game movie that I felt the first Uncharted video game was the very first time I was as invested in characters and a story as I was in a movie. So I've always seen the Uncharted franchise as being that fulcrum between sort of games and movies. So it'd be interesting mm. to see that this Uncharted movie becomes the first, at least from a creative standpoint, the very first most successful video game adaptation. So it's, I'm hoping. It's fingers crossed. I mean, the last Laura Croft one, uh, the last Tomb Raider, actually wasn't bad. A no, it wasn't it a wasn't. great movie, but I thought it wasn't a bad little thing. You know, it's funny because I had this discussion with a friend of mine just the other day because we were Tom Holland came up and, and there's still this perception out there that Tom Holland is really young. And like, there's a friend of mine saying, he's like, what is he, 19? He's, he's turning 25. <laughs> right, but but it's funny because when he if he wants to play up the young aspect of himself like teenage Peter Parker, he could totally come across as sixteen or seventeen years old. 
Here's the, I think that once we get him into this Uncharted, if you're looking at these pictures of him now, I'm thinking he's going to start coming off mid-20s. At least, I kind of hope he does. Question is for you guys. What do you think about the fact that, hey, amidst all the shutdown, Uncharted is now officially shooting? Does it make you feel a little bit more hopeful for the industry in these really weird times? Jump down into the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.